Hello everyone. Today we are going to draw this isometric sum. So last week somebody asked me to draw with instruments. So that's why I'm drawing with instrument. See in this sum, we have 60 on left side of origin, 80 on right side of origin and height is 90. So I will take it that way. So I will take 80 over here, 90 over here and 60 over here and I will draw a box. In this sum, if you see this side view, see this, this side view, right? We have a slope and we have a line and we have a circle, right? So now let's say if I'm thinking roughly or if I'm drawing it rough, see there is a possibility that I will draw a slope first. I can assume that, okay, there is a slope. So I will draw this slope first. But if I see there is a line, so what do you mean by line? So whenever you will see a line, so that means these two are not same surface. These two are different. So it is not like this. Maybe some portion is ahead, some portion is behind. So that we will come to know from other view. Now if I see this side, right, this front view what they have given, right side, this side, see they have given this dark. So that means this portion is somewhere in front and this portion is behind. See, if I just draw a circle directly, it, it is not making any sense. If you, if, if you see this sum, right, this is apart from this, then it is correct. But there is a line. So when they say there is a line, so that means there is something which is in front, something which is behind. So either part one or part two. So which one is nearer to you? So if you see this part one, this is part one, right? This part one corresponds to this. So this is part one. This is corresponds to part two. So this is part two. So part two is nearer to you. So first you draw part two. So before that, what we will do? First we will draw a slope. Always remember, whenever you start any isometric, always draw a slope first. So first we will draw this box. So how much is this? 30. How much is this? 50. So we got this box. Any doubt in this? I have just taken 30, 50 and whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. Keep that concept in your mind. So this much we are done. Now we need to draw this circle. So how much is this radius? 30. So we need to draw rhombus of 60. Now after this, we'll draw circle, but see, we'll draw initially very light circle because we don't know which one is ahead, which one is behind. Right? So I've drawn this circle. Now see, there is a line over here. So half of 80 is what? 40. So I will take 40 from here. And see, I will draw this line. So that is this line. Now after this, how much have to go behind? 15. Now if you see this, this is 60, this is 30. So how much it is behind? 15. So I can take this part inside by 15. See.
Now, if you observe, I'm drawing this part here. See this, this part over here. Now, how much is this? 30. this part C right now whatever is there in the front the same thing is behind this is one of the most important concept now if you see in this this appears one see it's the same slope but there is a line so that means some portion is ahead, the one, part 1 is ahead, part 2 is behind or maybe part 2 is ahead, part 1 is behind. I can draw this part. This part, see this. See this, now how to draw this? You take this radius, you go inside by width and you draw arc. See how much you have to go behind? This much, 15. So you go behind by 15. Now we'll see this slot. See it is 8, so we'll take. From midpoint we'll take 4, 4. Now see we don't know this height over here on the slope but we know this is 30. So what we'll do, we'll take center 4-4, four, four, we'll draw parallel line. And here we'll go down by 30. Go down by 30 and draw line. 